everything from the past affects how you are today. Everything that you've gone through, all the people that you've been with, all the experiences that you've experienced, it's a trickle effect. What you've learned from your family, your family learned it from their family, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so it just keeps on going down the line and it keeps on repeating, the cycle keeps on repeating until you make the decision to do something about it if if that's something that you don't want to continue hi loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is bro and i love to share videos all about how to help heal connect and create and today we're going to be talking about how ancestral healing affects your current life it's something that's very dear to me and it's very important to me because I am someone who wants to break cycles that have caused suffering, that have caused pain, that have caused just unkind things to continue. Some things that I've learned from my environment growing up is, you know, trying to control things and trying to make a certain outcome happen and trying to fix people and, and not communicating healthily. Like these are all cycles that I had to face in my own patterns that I've learned through my ancestry and my family environment so that I can heal them and no longer move these patterns forward. So if you don't know what ancestral healing is, it's just really allowing yourself to face the patterns that you've learned from your ancestry and taking the moment to get to the root cause, facing them and healing them in a way where the cycle just doesn't continue. Like for me, I've learned that these patterns that I've learned and that my mom and dad have learned and what their parents have learned is something that they were taught and it's something them to not blame them for. It's something to be grateful for so that now you can recognize how you can stop that pattern from continuing forward. And so I used to be somebody who was very controlling, very judgmental. And I still have moments where I feel like I want to control something to happen or I have moments where I notice myself judging another person. However, because I have this awareness and want or have this intention to heal that ancestral, ancestral pattern, I am able to take action to move forward with that and to go within and to really allow, your, or allow myself to no longer continue a cycle of judgment, no longer trying to control things and just really allowing myself to let go and to trust and to let go of any anxieties that are coming up that I have learned and have attached to and have grown to live with so that I can move forward with inner peace and joy and just, again, that trust. I realized after my um, last relationship of two years, almost two and a half years that I was a pretty narcissistic person, like not extremely, like I believe that narcissism is on a spectrum and that we all have a little bit of narcissism tendencies in all of us. But for me, that was a lot of really just trying to control and ask questions and, and do certain things in the relationship so that I was empowered. And when I was a little girl growing up, um, I just felt like I didn't have any power because there was that power dynamic in my family that I didn't realize. And because I didn't realize that there was that power dynamic when I got into a relationship, that's when I was exhibiting that pattern of controlling and just that power struggle and that power dynamic. And so I'm very grateful that I recognized that pattern after we separated because we're no longer together. And when I allowed myself to face that within myself, I can slowly unearth and slowly heal that pattern so that I can not continue that pattern moving forward in my relationships. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be a romantic relationship, just all relationships in general. Also, um, there are numerous ways that I have experienced ancestral healing. One is through emotion code. If you don't know what it is, I'll link a card to another video that is explaining all about emotion code. Um, 
that's something that I personally practice as a certified practitioner. So I'm able to do it for myself anytime. I actually also have released all of my trapped emotions from my body. So that's another video that I will create one day because I want to really share that experience of what it was like releasing 2000 trapped emotions. Um, but with emotion code, it is a modality that releases trapped emotions stuck in the body. And we also can get trapped emotions from our parents. And with that, those are ancestral trapped emotions. Um, and when I personally have released ancestral trapped emotions from myself and also from clients that I've worked with, they've noticed a shift in their relationship with their family and the shift within themselves to be kinder to their family and to be kinder and compassionate um, with their family and to themselves and also any children that they have that have they have brought into this world, which is such a beautiful thing. Um, another way is to really just sit down, reflect and journal. Um, that's another way that I love to put my thoughts down to paper, to put my energy down onto paper into something tangible and physical and allowing myself to understand where these roots come from has allowed me to unearth and to face on paper <laughs> and to just allow myself to, okay, I'm seeing this, this is what I wrote down, this is what I've recognized within myself. How am I going to not do this moving forward? And it takes practice and it can be really hard. And especially when you actually get into a relationship where you feel like you you're repeating the cycle again, but really that's the opportunity for you to break that cycle and to choose a different path rather than continue the choice that you would create over and over and over again because of this ancestral pattern. And those are the two that are really stuck out to me and have really been a huge part of my ancestral healing journey. I mean, I've done so many different modalities and I'm sure many of them have also helped me with my own ancestral healing, but those are the two that I consistently practice so that I can move forward with um, letting go of these ancestral patterns so that I can live a current life of more inner peace, more kindness, more compassion, um, you know, no longer controlling, no longer being judgmental, or at least being less judgmental, being less controlling, because I'm human. We all got egos. Sometimes I feel like, again, I want to control things to happen and I want, um, and I notice myself judging things, but I know that that is also a reflection of me and what I need to work on within myself. And so there are so many avenues and there's so many ways. And I love to, um, I love to encourage my clients and the people that I work with and also myself to try different modalities and see what works for you or what doesn't work for you. If you are interested in learning more about modalities like emotion code and energy work in general, there's a podcast that I've done called Conscious Awakening, which I can link the playlist up here. And there are so many different um, modalities and ways that I have learned through the beginning of my spiritual journey and my healing journey through other people and through these amazing conversations filled with so much wisdom. So again, you can check that out. So many, so many golden nuggets in there. And until next time, I hope this helped and uh, shared a little new perspective on ancestral healing and how it affects your current life. And if you have any other questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comment below. And I'd love to get back to you and to see if there's any way that I can help you further. Until next time, bye loves. A lot of people have the misconception that you're doing the healing. Exactly. Yeah. I'm so glad that you're bringing it up because that's such an important thing that I love to share with people. But I'm really just the clear vessel. I'm like the in-between, between spirit or creator, however you want to see it or call it, and the person.